Yo, 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 what is good, my lovely children? Today, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to use uh, multiple accounts on Roblox. I mean, I've showcased something like this a couple of months back, but this was on the old Roblox, the web version Roblox, but now I have one for the UVP, Ro UVP Roblox version or the Microsoft Store version, whatever it's called. And yeah, uh, this link will be in the link description. There will be three options right here the download the backup download and the source code so just go on the first download and then just install that shit click on download right here it's gonna download it yeah just click yes then once that's done you go into your downloads then it should be here uvp multiplot platform.exe put that shit on your desktop then you just double click that shit it's gonna say yeah yeah this shit, whatever. Just go on the underline, underline text and just click run. Just click yes. And then it should open this up right here. And it also made a folder right here. As you can see, modded Roblox clients. So you basically just click create a new multi Roblox instance. And yeah, once that's done, it's, it, there is one right here called Roblox Corporation Roblox 54556. And what you have to do. If that doesn't not doesn't that doesn't work for you, there might be like an error text. So what you have to do for that, you click on Windows, click on Settings, and then you have to go to this last button right here, something with Update and Security. Click there, and then on the left, there's Four Developers. Click on that, and then the first button right here, Developer Mode, you enable that. Then that should be it. You just close it and make a new instance, and then it should work. And yeah. Uh, once you have done that, you create a new instance, you click on your search, you type in Roblox. And it should pop up right here, you can see Roblox, multi UVP, and then the numbers, you just click on that. It's going to open Roblox, and yeah, you can see it opened up right here, and it's going to ask you to make an account or log in. So I'm just going to log into my, now I am logged into my account, as you can see, it's just perfectly normal Microsoft Store version Roblox, you can see. I can actually just attach my electron right here and I'm just gonna go in a game, the hood, you know. I don't even got any other games to test it on. See, I can just use any normal script. Let me inject my fly. See, wow, yeah, I'm flying. And yeah, once you've done that, you can just go, let me just put this away. You can just go click on create a new multi Roblox instance. Just gonna make a new one see there's a new one these are the numbers make sure to remember the numbers when you open it you go back onto your search type roblox in you have to click that one make sure the numbers are the same you open that i'm just going to open up another tab you can just log in again and you can see i'm still on this tab so let me log into this account too okay i have logged into my account as you can see i have two tabs open of microsoft store roblox and yeah i'm just going to join my alt account right here load up then what you have to do with your executor may uh, when you do this you cannot execute on the first account so make sure to execute everything you want on this account first because you cannot execute anything on that anymore then once you want to use your new account you just take your executor and click attach this will make it so it only uh, executes on this account and not on this one so yeah you just gotta wait and then if i press fly you can see i'm flying right here wow it works that's pretty cool, I guess. Yeah, my other account still works. And I'm just gonna go fly to my account right here. See, they both have the fly exploit on. And just use some other script right here. What the fuck do I have? An aim lock. See, yeah, my aim lock works. It's clearly on him. And yeah, also, never mind, I forgot to mention. You execute the script on this account it will execute on this one too see i have the aim lock even though i just executed it once i don't know why that is but yeah we have that now yeah basically it this just allows you to auto farm any game and auto farm as much as you want whatever you want in any game you can just open as many instances as you want but keep in mind this microsoft store uh, version is a lot less optimized as you can see my task manager one of the instances already takes 20% CPU, that's fucking crazy. And what's my graphic on? They put it on one. See, it drops to like 15. 
8. Okay, it's not that bad. It's like 7. But yeah, that's still crazy. On normal Roblox, it was like 1 or 2% for me. So yeah, this version is insanely unoptimized. But yeah, that's basically it for the video. Uh, if you all need any help, make sure to ask in the comments. And yeah, that's basically it for the video. I'm going to see you in the next one. Goodbye, guys.